Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I've got a cool little project to share with all of you. I'm going to be designing and 3D printing a 124 scale drag racing Christmas tree for RC or static model displays, racetracks, or dioramas. So for anyone who isn't aware, a Christmas tree is a column of lights used for staging the cars and starting a drag race. The smaller pre-staged and staged lights on the very top show when the car is at the starting line and they are almost always followed by three amber bulbs for each lane, then a green and red light. This is what I'll be making in today's video, as has been requested by one of our patrons. This should be a cool model to pair with the racetrack bleachers I designed in a previous video. There'll be more racetrack themed items coming in the future, so be on the lookout for those. Should make for a great diorama setup, or to add some detail to a RC or slot car track. Let's dive right into the design process. If you'd rather skip to the painting and assembly process, I'll include a timestamp in the description. There's really not much to assemble or paint, but it's there if you need it. If you like how mine turned out, stay tuned for that part of the video. So I'm sure just about everyone here is wondering if the Christmas tree I'm making will feature functioning lights, as that was a question I got a lot when I posted pictures on social media. This Christmas tree will not be functional, since it would take quite a bit more time to include lights and program some kind of starting sequence, or even more work to make the staging lights functional. As cool as that would be, it would also be a much more time-consuming project, and I'd likely need to compromise some on the appearance in order to have enough room to run the wires and have LEDs. There were still some design compromises that needed to be made, since I wanted this to be as easy to print on a FDM 3D printer as possible. This means no tiny details or thin sections that might be too fragile. I needed to make my design a little thicker than what a full-size Christmas tree would be if you shrank it down to 124 scale. I'll also be making it so that it's three separate pieces to make it easy to print. I thought about making each of the lights a separate piece to print and then glue into place, but that would be a lot of tedious work gluing in all those tiny little lights and making sure that they're all oriented correctly. So I chose the three piece design as you'll see shortly. All in all, I'm very happy with how the design turned out. It both looks great and for me at least, it was very easy to print without using any supports. As you can tell, this Christmas tree is mostly comprised of some simple shapes. I didn't bother to add a ton of small details since they won't really show up much, if at all, when the parts are FDM printed. One thing I noticed while gathering reference material is, although all Christmas trees share a similar basic design and light arrangement, no two that I saw seem to be exactly the same. Almost like a lot of them were handmade rather than coming from a single manufacturer. So if you're feeling inspired and want to make one of these yourself, give it a try and keep in mind that there's quite a few different variations you can use as inspiration. Also, I'm thinking there's a great opportunity here to make this into an actual Christmas tree ornament for this year's fast approaching holiday season. I'm sure December will be here before we know it, and I think there's a great gift opportunity here for any drag racing enthusiasts. All that's needed is to add a little hole at the top. So the design, as you can tell, is pretty straightforward. I'll be posting the STL files onto Patreon for anyone who'd be interested in printing their own. You'll find the link below in the description. Here's a look at the finished design. With the design complete, I printed each part using a .25 nozzle. Supports shouldn't be necessary. Each part looks great. Splitting the main post section into two pieces makes it so much easier to print than trying to do it upright as a single piece. I will also be uploading a single piece version which might be better for other 3D printers like an SLA printer. I wasn't able to find much information regarding the dimensions of a typical Christmas tree, so I tried to get an idea of around how tall they are relative to the cars, and sized mine as best I could so it's at least in the ballpark of being 124 scale. Of course if you'll be 3D printing your own, you can always scale the model up or down to whatever size you need. 
I did just a little bit of post print finishing work and sanding before applying several coats of primer to help smooth the surface of all the parts. The more time you spend on post print finishing work, the better the finished object will look. This was just kind of a quick build for me, so I wasn't really concerned with the 3D printed layers being visible. I next applied blue paint to the post and flat black to the base. The rest of the painting will be done by hand. I started by hand painting some sections flat black as shown. Next I used Model Master Aluminum Paint for all the lights. I then painted all the lights, yellow for the staging lights, amber for the starting lights, green and then red. Here's the result once I was finished painting. To complete it, I used glue to secure each half together, and then to secure it to the base. The result looks great and would make a nice addition to any racetrack or diorama. I hope you all enjoyed this quick little design and assembly video. There's much more content on the way, including the conclusion of the 92 Ford Mustang build, so be on the lookout for more videos. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.